right when the game went into a rain delay, General Manager Brian Cashman addressed the media on Dellen Batances, who had an MRI, which revealed some inflammation around a bone spur in his uh, right shoulder that they knew about. It's existing. It's caused a little bit of problems in the past, but not too much. They did some further testing, the MRI revealing this, and a short time ago, Cashman talked about the protocol moving forward. The first protocol is to hit it with a very significant, uh, you know, uh, anti-inflammatory, which is a major dose back. So it's an it's an anti-inflammatory you take orally. Uh, hopefully that would have resolved the issue. Um, now we we did a more invasive test, which is the dye contrast MRI, which pinpoints exactly where uh, the the inflammation is remaining, which is right where that spur is. So the next protocol uh, would be hitting that exact spot which will happen tomorrow via uh, uh, it'll be uh, used with a sonogram that'll direct the shot right into the spot where the spur is and that'll uh, uh, take place tomorrow and there's optimism from our team physician that that will resolve the issue um, the only problem with that is it adds more time on uh, on the clock uh, he will be He'll have that injection of cortisone uh, localized to the exact spot. Uh, he will then be down for three more weeks of no activity, and then we get him going again. So you're talking about another six to seven weeks till you see him back here with the, the big club after you have rest, rehab, game action, and return to play. Protocols getting uh, completed and checked. So um, it's a timing issue. Uh, a scale of, of good news versus bad news. It could have been much worse news. Uh, it's just, you know, phase uh, one or the first attempt of the protocol, which is the oral medication uh, that usually would take care of stuff like this, uh, you know, still hasn't resolved it fully. So now uh, phase two after this more invasive test is to localize it with that um, cortisone shot, and that'll take place tomorrow. So that's the Dellen Batanzas update. It obviously uh, adds to our list of, of uh, injured players, but at some point we will get some or most of them back. All right, so yet another setback for Dellen Batanzas and the Yankees. You see what he's done and how much he's pitched over the course of uh, the past five seasons or four seasons. And so, Jack, uh, again, they take another hit, 12th player to this moment on the DL. And this is a big one because they needed that piece back in the bullpen. They did, Bob. I remember being in spring training down in Tampa when the Yankees first announced this injury. And Brian Cashman spoke about it. Patanza spoke about it. And at that time, they were considering it a minor thing. They talked about it being a minor thing, and they thought Patanza would get back early in the season. Well, now, based on what Cashman just said, you're looking at a timeline of Batances maybe returning by June. And that is a big weapon to not have in your bullpen. This is a pitcher who averaged 15 and a half strikeouts per nine innings last year. He is just an uncomfortable at bat with a 99 mile per hour fastball. The two types of breaking pitches. And now when Aaron Boone reaches for that bullpen phone, he doesn't have Batances and he's probably not going to have him for at least another six or seven weeks. As Cashman said, not the worst possible news. That would have been he's done for the season. But this is now a big chunk of the season where the bullpen, which is beleaguered and hasn't performed very well, is going to be missing an asset. Yeah.